So Abi just redefines players' passion. I've coached professional football, this is my 20th year, and I've never been around a young individual like Abi. I've been through more challenges than most, but it just makes me stronger, and I absolutely thrive off of it. Ibrahim Khan was born in Ottawa, soon after his parents immigrated from Pakistan. In high school, Abi excelled at football. In fact, he was recruited by Simon Fraser University and named the top Canadian university lineman. By the time Khan was drafted by the Ottawa Renegades, his family was hooked on the game, even if his dad didn't understand the details. He had absolutely no idea what I did. Every game, did you get a touchdown? How many catches did you get? I said, Dad, I, I block. I don't, uh, I don't do any of that stuff. But they came out and supported me and watched every game. When the Ottawa Renegades folded in 2006, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers took Abby in the dispersal draft. His future looked bright, at least on the surface. But deep down, something was terribly wrong. He was losing weight. He was very sick and experiencing symptoms he couldn't explain. I mean, I was very ashamed, you know, I, I had to go to the bathroom 20 times a day, severe cramps, pain, bleeding, uh, and I didn't tell anyone. In 2004, Abi had been diagnosed with colitis, an inflammation of the bowel. He took various drugs to try and manage the disease, but by the 2007 football season, he had reached a crisis. Ibrahim was told he needed surgery, and his father encouraged him to proceed, but Abi was reluctant fearing it would end his football career. Then, in September 2007, his father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He was given weeks to live. We were all in the hospital in the room beside my dad, and Abi came to see my dad lying in bed, and um, just the physical state of my dad shocked his system so drastically that he went, to, went into shock himself. Then he literally collapsed on the floor. So Hale rushed his brother to emergency. Ibrahim was admitted to hospital, and put in the room right next to his father. You've said almost that maybe you were in the hospital for a reason, to be near yeah. him. Uh, do yeah. you believe that? Oh, without a doubt. You know, they wheeled me over my wheelchair. And, uh, you, know, my, you know, the last word I remember my dad saying, was, you, you can do it. He said, be strong. Iftikhar died with his son beside him. Two weeks later, Abi went in for the surgery his dad had convinced him to have. His large intestine was removed and he began the long journey back. I treat them all like my children, but Abi's a little bit special. You know, anybody that's gone through that operation and has his large intestines taken out, you know what I mean, and comes back and plays, I've never heard of that before. What a comeback story it is. Although Abby's problems are not football related, the Bombers have kept him on the team through two years of limited play. And when he got back to the gym this season, his teammates were there to help. Good job, buddy. You might not want to film when he does 225 because nobody's going to be impressed by that. It's just a warm up, Doug. We'd be making fun of him, talking about how our, our mothers could, you know, lift and curl more than him. And we were probably right at one point because it, when he came off a of surgery like that, it was, it was quite the sight to see a guy that used to throw around, you know, 315 pounds like it was nothing, use, you know, 10 or 20 pound weights for, for incline flies and stuff. Abby has regained his strength and practices regularly with the team. Closing in on his playing weight, he eagerly anticipates his return to full-time play. Uh, Inspired by his father, he is now a spokesman for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. He said, uh, there's a reason why God does everything. And he's chosen you to have this surgery and uh, be a role model, a spokesperson for all these people with the disease. And uh, it's come true. It, it's enriched my life so much. He's made me so strong, I can, I can do anything now. 